Hello and thank you for watching this video. On this video, I will show you how you can import products from Amazon to WooCommerce store as dropshipping product or as affiliate product. So first thing, go here, you choose product, Samsung for example, check random product. I pick this watch here. I wait some seconds, I will see some buttons that will appear here. So there is three button, import to shop and preference. This means that I connected successfully to the shop. If you want to see how you can connect the Chrome extension to your WooCommerce store, you can watch uh, the first YouTube video, how to connect your store to the Chrome extension for Amazon. So you click on this button here, you'll see a pop-up, a model. So here you will import a dropshipping product, like a variable product, when you are having a dropshipping business. So it will not be an affiliate product. Here you have all the informations of the product. So first you can choose which category you want to import the product to. You can change the title. This is the SKU, the SKU of the product. So you can change, but it's better to leave it as it is. You can put some short description here that will be displayed just after the title. On the description, you would see the description from Amazon, so you can modify your description if you don't like some some stuff like this. Things here. You can change, you can import other informations if you want. So if you want, for example, to import the product detail, you click here and you will see the product detail. If you want to import the product description, just click this one. Imagine that you want to, to add the gallery picture to the description. So by clicking this button here, you will add the, the images to the description. So we will not add them right now, we will remove them. You can also add the, the variation image to the description. So by clicking this option here, you will see all the Im a variation image added here. This can be useful if you want to have a nice description here, like this one here. You can see that all the images are there, so it can be interesting. You can also add the images from review if there are some images. So when people post review, sometimes they they give some some images. So by clicking that option, I will remove all the things here and I will add the image from review. So clicking this button here will take some seconds. It's loading. Okay, here you can see that the images from the reviews are added. So normally we load the first 10 reviews all the images from the first 10 reviews. Maybe on future version we will add more, but for the moment you can load this. You can add some description here, so this product is cool. The gallery is the same thing, so here we have the images. By the way, you can change the resolution of the image from the configuration. I will show you later how to do this. So you can remove the images, you can edit them, for example, if you want to add some text or something here, what you can do is very simple, and just to do, for example, I'll add the text, it will be here, and save the image, and I see that the image is here with Toto, so you can add your logo of your shop, you can remove some stuff from the images, so you can also add the images from reviews, so by clicking this, you see that we will add all the images here. We will not add them because they will take a long time to to be uploaded to the store. But if you want to do, you can do the same thing for the variation images. So you can include all of them also. Here we load the first 10 reviews from the product. So you can see that the reviews are, are here. So to load more reviews, you click this button here. This will redirect you to the Amazon reviews page, so you can choose which review you want to add. Sometimes you'll need to refresh the page to see the checkbox button, this one here. So I want to add this one, this one, this one, oh, this one, this one. I click on the first review, 
and then oh I see them here you can just see them that they were added successfully here I can see the variations so all the details about variation the SKU the sale price the regular price the quantity the, everything you need here so you can apply sharp pricing the sharp pricing will add 0, 0 to the end instead of 67 some people prefer having such price you can also add uh, 99 at the end you can apply regular price for all variations for example if you want to uh, apply the same price for all of them like 400 and apply and you see here 400 you can set a price markup formula this will add a formula automatically to the price for example you want to increase the price by 25 percent you can set a formula from here by adding the mean and max intervals and the percentage you want to increase for example 50 percent and we add five dollars at the end and then you save here and when you import the product you will see this price directly here the specification is the section that you will see in additional information on your shop so you can by default you'll see all these details here you can add or remove some information you can add your store name for example my store some stuff like that you can add some tags for example stylish and uh, shop name for example like some tags name if you want and then just click on port to shop you'll see loading spinner here it will take some time until it is loaded we will see together when this is done so because we have many images this can take more time than expected that's quite normal so if you want to have a faster import time you need to have less images to import mm, okay so meanwhile let's see okay the product has been inserted let's see the product that has been inserted correctly so the two products here Okay, the product is here. We see this regular price for 100, and there is the tags here, the categories, the name. I will open the product to check if everything is fine. Okay, I have 15 reviews that I've already selected them. That's already good. I have the reviews images here. That's quite interesting, actually. We have the gallery images here. We have the additional information section here also. We have the short description here. The variations. Okay, we don't have uh, some variation are missing maybe here. Let's see that later. So now, for example, you want to import a product as uh, an affiliate product so I will click another product from here then I will click on import preference and I will change my configuration so here I will select this option use affiliates import instead of dropshipping and then I will select all this here resolution high resolution pictures description the reviews and all this stuff here so now I will reload the product just to apply the change and then I will see the same buttons again I will click on import button and so this time I will import product as an affiliate product and not anymore as a dropshipping product so it's the same concept the only difference is that I don't see the variations here tab because there is no need for variation if you have an affiliate product so you can change some information, remove Amazon from here, or, or change, for example, this button is uh, called uh, buy right now, for example, if you want to call the, uh, the button to, to redirect the user to the product on Amazon. You can publish the product if you want, you can set it as a feature product, you can choose the categories, description, so I will remove all of this and I will import the images, variations. 
I like the variation images, they are high quality and they are really good. The gallery I will keep as it is. Uh, I will not add any other images. The reviews, just want to remove the file screen again, specification and product tag. I will add Amazon processing total. Okay, then import to shop, this will take some seconds. Let's wait together. We will see notification on the left here when the product finished loading. Okay, it's done. So let's go to commerce and see the product is here. This is the tag, the categories, the stocks in stock, the price, and the FKU. And it's published. So I open the product and I will try to buy. Okay, it's called buy right now. I will click on this and this will redirect me to Amazon. So if you have an affiliate ID, you can uh, add it to the URL, the, the product URL on the import model. And as you can see here, the user can, can buy this product and you get your uh, fee or your, your margin for affiliate business. So that's all for this video. Uh, on the previous video, you can see how you can connect your extension to the Chrome, uh, to the Chrome extension to your store. On the next video, I'll try to explain how the price markup formula works. Uh, I'll try to, to, to set up the configuration to the store so fast at the end of this video for, for people who don't want to change videos. So in order to set your connection to your store, what you need to do is just click, go to the Amazon product, sorry. So import preference, and then go to connection here. So here we have the connection. I already set up the connection. Uh, what you need to do is to go to your WordPress, go to e-commerce setting, advanced, just PI, add new, like this and copy this one here on the second field copy the second field on the third field copy the URL all the section before WP dash admin copy here make sure that your URL starts with HTTP or HTTPS and here you will need to paste your Amazon license if you have if you don't have you have the free version enabled so the free version is uh, is the same as the premium version, but you will not be able to import all the uh, details of the product. So, but you, you can still import uh, the product, but with less information. So, if you want to use the full version, you can buy a license from our website. So it's shark.com, and then you go to the plugin section. I'll just write Amazon here, so it's easy. Amazon and you buy the license from here. That's all for this video. Thank you again for watching and see you next video.